Bonjour. Bonjour und bienvenue in der Wallonie. Mein Name ist Eva Klausus und ich arbeite bei Visit Wallonia in Köln und möchte euch die Wallonie ein bisschen näher präsentieren. Die Wallonie liegt in Südbelgien und ist französischsprachig und zum Teil auch deutschsprachig und ist im Prinzip direkt nebenan. Also es ist total schnell von Deutschland aus zu erreichen, von NRW, Rheinland-Pfalz und Saarland insbesondere. Und der Blick äh, hinter die Grenze ist auf jeden Fall ein Besuch wert. Ähm, ich würde es auf jeden Fall jedem und jeder ans Herz legen, der hier zuschaut. Ähm, wir haben ganz viel zu entdecken. Also hinter der Grenze kommt direkt Eupen und das deutschsprachige Gebiet, das Hohe Fenn als Naturregion. Äh, die Ardennen fangen dort auch direkt an. Die Ardennen äh, sind eine wunderschöne Naturregion. Es gibt dann sehr, sehr viele kleine Städtchen, die wunderbar in die Natur eingefügt sind, zum Beispiel Durby, La Roche oder auch Bouillon, Dinan direkt an der Maas. Es gibt viele kleine Flüsse wie die Lesse, die auch südlich von Dinan fließt, die Urte bei La Roche und bei Durby und die Samoa ganz im Süden. Und die Samoa ist äh, jetzt auch eingebettet in einen Nationalpark. Neuerdings haben wir zwei Nationalparks in der Wallonie. Äh, das zeigt eben, dass wir eine sehr, sehr schöne und äh, ursprüngliche Natur, ähm, die auch erhaltenswert ist und erhalten werden soll, äh, in der Wallonie haben. Das lohnt auf jeden Fall einen Besuch. Ich möchte euch heute Regis Francard vorstellen von den Van der Falk Hotels in der Wallonie und er wird euch die breite Palette präsentieren seiner Hotels, die auch äh, gut ausgestattet sind für eure Events, für eure Tagungen und das wird sicherlich sehr interessant in dieser Folge. Ganz viel Vergnügen! Hallo, herzlich willkommen in einer weiteren Folge Wallonia Mais Talk. Und jetzt aufgepasst, das kennen vielleicht die einen oder anderen von euch noch. Das, ihr Lieben, war die Titelmelodie einer ganz bekannten Krimiserie äh, Anfang der 80er, Ende der 70er aus den Niederlanden, nämlich Kommissar Van der Falk. Und das ist ein wunderbarer Übergang. Ich sage herzlich willkommen. Welcome, Regis. From the Van der Falk Hotels in Wallonia. Thank you for joining us together here with me in our amazing Wallonia Meister. Please, Regis, be so, be so kindly and introduce yourself a little bit. Speak a little bit about uh, who are you, what you're doing, and what is your mission. So uh, I, I work for the Van der Falk Hotels, as you said, and that's uh, I've started not so long ago, only a few months ago in uh, February to be. Um, to be precise, um, and I represent all the hotels in Wallonia. Um, that is uh, eight hotels. Eight hotels we, in Wallonia? Yes. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a real lot. <laughs> yes, especially that uh, there are um, huge hotels with a lot of rooms. Yeah. And uh, so I try to coordinate, and when I have uh, buyers that come from um, uh, Germany, um, Holland, uh, Netherlands, Yeah. Uh, or even Flanders, because for Wallonia is <laughs> somewhere abroad. Of course. Um, <laughs> in that case, um, I'm the point of contact that will try and find the best hotel for them. Oh, you right. know, you don't always know uh, where you, you want to go. You need uh, somewhere close to a, a highway, or you need somewhere <clears throat> close to a big city. You need whatever you need, I can find a solution for you. Agreed. So that's what I'm going to try and do for anyone that comes to see me, is to always find the best solution for them. Which hotel do they need? Or if they need more than one meeting, they want to go to, uh, to different places in Wallonia, yeah. then I will, I will arrange with all the hotels so they don't have to contact all hotels and see what they can do in each hotel. I will find a solution that is a sort of package for all the hotels. This is a, a classic a one-stop shop solution. It's great that the event professionals have one contact who can take care which of the eight Van der Falk hotels in Wallonia fix her 
her, her event targets as best as possible. When we talk about eight hotels, please, can you explain a little bit more, uh, tell us a little bit more about the hotels, where they are located, and maybe a few things, what each hotel makes a little bit special and different from, other, from the other ones. Okay, so if I may, I'm going to start from the west. Um, to, uh, on the west coast. West, uh, west coast, yes, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> there we have uh, Mons. Yeah. Um, Mons uh, has uh, something particular, is that they have the uh, Congress Center. Yeah. So it is the WCCM, Wallonia Congress Center of Mons. It's an amazing Congress Center. I have visited. Ah. It's like an open, goes open like an open flowers is designed. It's next, it's very good connected to the railway station. Exactly. And your hotel is, your hotel is next. It's right next door, right next door. Next door and it has uh, almost 100, it has 150 rooms. So if you go to the, the, the Congress Center after, you can still accommodate right next to, uh, to there. Yeah. The catering is also can be combined. So either you can stay in a Congress Center, center and eat there, or you can come to the hotel to eat. Yeah. Um, the, the hotel also have, has meeting rooms. So if you don't need a whole auditorium, yeah. you can still have a meeting in the hotel or up to 80, uh, 80 people or, or even more. So there, there are different solutions yeah. uh, all in one there. And as you said, very important, right next to the train station, that is also uh, a piece of art, uh, a wonderful piece of art that's going to open only uh, the new station beginning of next year. But um, talking about opening, uh, in Mons, they have a new terrace, yeah. splendid, uh, very, very, very huge. So you can uh, I have uh, 150 seats uh, just uh, in the, on the terrace. Is this correct? That but you take care also for let's say the catering in the con Congress Center next door, right? Yes, that's uh, that's great because it's really combined. It's door by door. Exactly. It's door by door. Great. So Monks is. Uh, I can definitely recommend your hotel in Monks. I stayed there a couple of days for a couple for some visits, and uh, I really enjoy my room. I enjoy the food and beverage, it was really good. The fries were really good in the hotel. And also I enjoyed to visit the Congress Center, it was really nice. So follow from Mons in the west side of Valonia to the, to the next one. Yes, so from Mons where we are close to Lille uh, in France, as you said, it's uh, 20 minutes from, uh, from Lille or 30 minutes if you go to the center of Lille. And then you go uh, like same same altitude, no, uh, same uh, level yeah. in Belgium. You go straight to the center. Then you have Charleroi. Ah, Charleroi. Charleroi. There you have uh, an airport, um, Ryanair mainly, but yeah. uh, but uh, any company can go there. Um, and uh, we are located a few kilometers away from that hotel, so we're not under the planes or anything. There's no noise about yeah. that. But we are very close to it, also close to the highway. Why? Because mo most of the hotels, Van der Waak hotels, are close to a highway because you want people to be able to get there pretty quickly. Because we know we are specialized in meeting rooms, also accommodation, but businessmen. So what they need is to be there quickly. And then in Charleroi, you can go come by plane by or car, by, by car. The two car. When I drive in Belgium on the highway, I see the two car. And I think the two car is your logo, right? Exactly. You have, you have some, bring something with a two car. Yes, I bought something with a two car. It's, a, it's a, a water bottle. And uh, that's the, the object I, I wanted to, to show you because uh, the two car is, is our logo. Yeah. And it's been there for, for so many years because um, Van der Waak is a family. It's a family name, uh, Van der Waak. Um, and it's uh, now the fourth or sometimes even the fifth generation of Van der Waak. Every hotel, every single hotel, there are 70 hotels, mostly in the Netherlands, but there are some in Germany too, yeah. um, are owned by someone of the Van der Waak family. Amazing, it's a family affair. It's a family affair, <laughs> yes. <laughs> let me see the one, let me see. So guys, you see, see here the Toucan, when you drive to the Netherlands and to Belgium, especially to Wallonia, you see the Toucan on the rooftop of a hotel, you can be sure it's a nice Van der Hotel. Put it here next to our space commander. Yes. <laughs>
He's great, by the way. <laughs> He's really great. He's our space commander, Valonia. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so two hotels you explained, Charleroi, is, is also a nice city, by the way. It's, oh, yes. an, it's, it's an amazing place. place. It's an amazing place. Um, it's got a, a glorious past with uh, all the, um, uh, the coil, uh, charcoal and yeah. the, everything, all that. Uh, so it's historical. But uh, most of the cities in Wallonia have a, have a nice uh, past uh, history uh, since uh, the years 1000, 1200, yeah. depending on the, on the city. And uh, we are all located, except Patalia, I come to it, uh, Vervier, but uh, in uh, historical uh, cities. Yeah. And in uh, Charleroi, uh, you have the, the, the coal mine you can visit. Um, of the, um, oh, I, for, I just uh, forgot the name of this one, um, Bois du Casier, that's oh, it, yes. the Bois du Casier. Wonderful to see the, the, the history of, of, that, uh, of that mine. Uh, yeah. That was, uh, historically, they had a, um, a big uh, catastrophe there, but uh, that, that you have that's to go and see, to, they, they, they'll explain all that uh, to you. And uh, in, in, so to come back to the, to the hotel, to the Van der Waak Hotel here, in Charleroi, uh, you've got uh, all meeting rooms also that are pretty big, but also um, a nice terrace and free parking. That is what we try and have in every Van der Waal because uh, you usually have more than three, 100 rooms in our hotels, but enough parking places for everyone. Free parking. Also, oh, e-chargers e also, I saw in a couple of, yes. your, of your parking spots mm -hmm. that you have, that you offer, you have each e e mobile charger for uh, electric cars. Exactly. We have Tesla chargers, yes. Tesla chargers. But chargers. now exactly. that you can also uh, charge for any electric. Uh, of course. Uh, so you explain these two hotels. Which one is the next one? Next, we go a little bit more north towards Brussels. We are yes. just there, 15 minutes away from Brussels, and we come to Nivelle. Okay. And that's been restored five years ago because that's the historical Van der Waak Hotel uh, starts in Wallonia. The first one, uh, the father of the uh, Warman brothers, yeah. after the, the different hotels in Wallonia, um, is there that he started. So uh, some five, six years ago, it had to be restored. And now it's a beautiful one where you have uh, like the best meeting rooms with big uh, screens, uh, technology, a nice... Um, a breakout place, you have a nice buffet, um, you were talking of food and beverage, it's wonderful, you can, you can eat. As you said, they are um, uh, very kind on trying to have the local people to come and eat at midday, so you can come yes. and eat in half an hour, three quarters of an hour. So if you break at midday, you want to work, work all day. It's your choice. Yeah. Then you have the, the choice to have your meeting room, uh, your meeting yes. in the morning. Have just three quarters of an hour break and eat well, and then have your afternoon. Or you can take more time, and there's the restaurants where you can also eat and take a little bit more time. Or even if you want, eat at the uh, at the breakout place a sandwich in 15 minutes and go back to work. Great. But I hope that if you come to Belgium and to Wallonia, you don't come there just to eat a sandwich at midday. But uh, this hotel you recommend it especially for, for meetings uh, because, I, uh, of course, it's accessible. The access to, uh, to Brussels is very close, about 15 minutes. Then um, the, the, the breakout rooms are very good for management board meetings. What is the maximum size in these rooms in this hotel? Well, of course, it depends on the way. In theatre, you can go to 300 or more. Well, yes, nice. and uh, standing uh, up to 800. So, they, 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 okay, they, they, okay. Yeah, that's this the biggest. Is... That's the biggest one. Yes. Oh. Uh, and uh, if you are, but you you won't do it in a, in class. Uh, in class, you can go to 150. But you won't do that. No, <laughs> you don't no but, but do it's, that. it's good to know that you have a, a hotel. So here in Valonia, to the down from Brussels to the border to Valonia. Uh, which can um, offer in this capacities for for for, con for for meetings or bigger seminars, things like that. That's great. So from there we go. We where go we just go? ten minutes away from there. Yeah. We go to Waterloo. Oh, Waterloo. Okay. Waterloo. We all we all know Waterloo, Waterloo. for <laughs> famous lion. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, of uh, course. The, the war, um, but um, they also are. Uh, of other places to visit uh, all around yes. there, the uh, Abbey of Vierce-la-Ville and different things. So, um, and 
we are very close to Brussels because from Nivelle we go even closer to Brussels to Waterloo. So we have really close to, uh, we, we are in, in fact uh, there, um, uh, very close to the, um, the highway that goes straight from there to uh, around Brussels yeah. and also to the, to the airport. So we are 20 minutes away from the National Airport of Zaventem, Brussels Airport. Yes. And um, we from, at that place, we have, it's an old building from the 18th century, uh, 1767, if I'm not mistaken. So it's almost 250 years old. Beautiful place where you can, um, we can have uh, 108 rooms. The, the, meeting ro the meeting rooms are a little smaller. They can only have up to 60 or 70 people. That's the maximum in theatre. But uh, we just took over that hotel and within two years we want to upgrade it and have a seminar, 10 to 15 meeting rooms and for seminars that are going to be uh, a lot bigger. So that's Perfect. for the future. I think four, four hotels are left, right? Yes, indeed. <laughs> so we can go right to the side, Germany's side, so to Liège, where there we have next to Aachen. <laughs> yes, it's very nice, place. very easy to reach. Very easy. There you have the motorway from uh, Aachen to uh, yeah. to Liège, and um, there we have two hotels. That's ah, the only city where we have two hotels. We have two. Why two? Because we have one that is more a congress hotel. It's called Liège Congrès, <laughs> and okay. that, as you can guess, is it means co congress in, in in French, and that one uh, kind of has. 218 rooms, that's the maximum we have. Mm -hmm. And it's right next to the Palais des Congrès, the Congress okay. Center of Liège. We are um, right next to the, to the river, to the Meuse. And uh, from there, um, you are almost in the center of uh, Liège. Then you have the other uh, hotel, that is the Celis. The Hotel Celis um, is also an old a building from the, there, we are talking about uh, the 12th century, I think. A beautiful, uh, it was uh, formerly a five-star hotel, but we, uh, when Van der Waal took it over, we downgraded it to a four-star hotel, but it yes, still it has, it's still worth a five hotel, to be honest. Yeah, but uh, all uh, Van der Waal hotels are four stars and four-star plus hotels. Yeah. So this one is a four star plus and it's a beautiful, there's uh, one of the most beautiful uh, meeting rooms that is Salle de Bal of the, but that one is really something we have to. Nice, well, Salle de Bal. Is a, Salle de Bal is, is wonderful. It's, well, historically, it's, uh, it's very, So two, two hotels happening. in Liège, and it's ex, uh, next to the German, Liège is near to the border to Germany. Uh, now we miss two. It's two. We go even closer to Germany. We, we, we travel to Verviers. Yeah, that yeah, is close yeah. to Spa, Spa Francorchamps, the yeah. Grand Prix, um, secret, um, but also uh, nature, everything. But we are still close uh, to a, a, a motorway that goes, uh, passes close to there, but we are straight into the nature. Yeah. So we have both there. That's the only place where, as I said earlier, we're not in, a, in one of the biggest uh, cities, even if biggest thing when we talk about Wallonia is not huge, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but Vevier is a small city and there we have that oh, hotel um, that is beautiful. It's also. a big one, is this? A it's a big one, it's a big one. Um, how many rooms? We have, uh, how many rooms? Uh, 130 okay, rooms, so but uh, it's an old uh, custom, uh, the custom customs, uh, of uh, between uh, old Germany and, and Belgium. So it's the, the old customs uh, were, were located there and uh, there was the warehouse of the customs. So it's a huge building where, where all, uh, all, the, the, all the goods were uh, uh, sorry, warehoused, shit. yes. Yeah, really interesting. And, um, and there they have all the rooms and, and, and also the meeting rooms and we are close to the uh, um, a chocolate maker, Darcy, uh, beautiful chocolate uh, you can taste there and you can combine with a team building there where we can make some chocolate if you want. Uh, you make me curious, Regis, you make me really curious because 
you explain now seven beautiful hotels, completely different, from west coast to next to the border of Germany. Uh, seven, we missed one. We missed just one, and that one is close to Luxembourg in yeah. Arlon. Arlon. And Arlon. yes, and that one is something uh, particular because it's a uh, well. Um, also close to, uh, to the motorway, uh, but what is very good with that one, um, all our hotels are uh, environmentally friendly, trying with solar panels, uh, biomass, uh, the chargers, even if the chargers, well, you, you call that uh, environmental friendly or not, uh, but we have electrical, uh, electrical chargers. Yeah. And, uh, we do our best. Even when you when you are four star hotel, you can you can't be uh, like in in this beautiful place where we are located, uh, completely um, environmental. But we do our very best. And there in Arlon, they are they they are um, like a zero um, um, emissions. The emissions, yeah, yeah. So emissions, they're passive. The hotel is passive, so extremely sustainable. Sustainable. Everything is. Uh, they have a uh, building a, a big biomass. Uh, yeah. Biomass uh, energy for energy thing. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So uh, that's great. It's 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 zero emission uh, hotel, and it's also uh, very very nice. How, by the way, in Germany, in the moment, there's the topic of sustainability for event planning is really a huge topic. Uh, how is the situation here in the in the in the in general now? Not especially in your hotel places, but in general in the hotels uh, scene, is is this also a, a trend that um, a sustainable and green certificated is something um, here in 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 Valonia for the hotels also a big thing? Definitely, definitely for the future. They are all we are all seeking. So meaning in general in in Wallonia. For more sustainable, susten oh, sustainability, and yes. it's it's very complicated uh, uh, to obtain because it's a long-term uh, issue. But yes, we, we are going towards step that by step. step by step, doing our best, and we definitely also in Wallonia, as in Germany, if you, as you say, uh, find it a very important topic, uh, definitely. And uh, more and more um, hotels have a, an eco label and trying to. Uh, make it something um, not only labor, but also on a day-to-day -day basis, trying to find the best solutions to be sustainable. That's very important. And then it's the, the, the customer when he comes into it, the client when he gets to the hotel that sees it. There's the labor, but also the day-to-day, -day, and that's the most important, uh, we think. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a really big topic, and we need to be more sustainable in all kinds of industries, definitely. Um, now, I, I tell you true, I really understand now that it makes sense to have you as a person in charge for eight different various hotels because they are really completely different. That's yes. what I hear now. They are really completely different. So it's great that the event professionals have one face for eight products and can help to show for the goals of the event, for the target group of the attendees of the event, the best solution, I mean, the right hotel. That makes really sense. When we talk about Van der Falk, we also need to talk about catering and kitchen, food and beverage, because I know this is a, a topic, Van der Falk, the family starts in the Netherlands, and I, I guess they also had, in the past, they had also a few, like these kind of restaurants, next places, places next to highways. So they need to have competence yes. <laughs> in food and beverage. So can you recommend a little or talk a little bit about that, um, about about your food and beverage concept in the Van der Waal hotels here in Valonia? That is a, a very important and also complicated topic because we try and do our best to do whatever the the, the client wants. So we can uh, do almost everything. Our restaurants are big, and there we can have uh, the locals and the people that we accommodate have their meals in the in the hotel, so in the restaurant, or they can have a, a buffet formula. Yeah. Or for the the people that have a, a meeting room, we can find a solution for every budget, and the the chefs that we have. Are really uh, the best of the uh, of the region, 
even if there are others, of course, we don't say we, we have the best, but, but they know the what best, they do. They know exactly they know what, what they, they, do. they do. And um, if you want, or for one, you have one budget, then we, c we can try and find a solution for you uh, going from the, um, the sandwiches to uh, something that's really high level and uh, uh, warm that we can serve sometimes for you in a in a breakout place or you go down to the restaurant that we can privatize uh, if the, the, the group is uh, big enough yeah. or we, if it's nice, w nice weather we can go outside to the outside. terrace. Some of our meeting rooms also have terraces where we can so privatize definitely because it's yeah. just for that meeting room. But you can uh, imagine that you would go out for, uh, for your break and have a, a little snack there or even eat uh, standing up uh, on, the, on the tables and, and eating uh, your food uh, around there. And uh, also, uh, you, were, you mentioned that in Mons, but you also have the bars that you can have and drink there yeah. with your own. And sometimes people do use it um, as a team building. They yeah, can uh, use it for mixology or stuff like that, or to, to uh, taste some uh, Belgian beers. <laughs> Taste some veggie beers and you talk about Mons, yes, exactly. Uh, when I come back, uh, we, we, when we will meet next, we do it in this um, place then, in, in Mons, in, in the Van der Vaart Hotel in Mons, because uh, then we can test the bars and we can test the Belgian beer. And you bring something for us. Yes, I, bu I bought you a beer, indeed. <laughs> so, um, this is a beer that's uh, pretty special. It's the Woman beer, so it's the beer that's that's brewed. The, the woman's beer. In the tr it's a triple. Yes. You put it here to the glass. <laughs> and of course, I bought one from them too. Oh, of course. <laughs> so we, can, we can drink it together. So we can drink it together. <laughs> <laughs> and this, uh, this beer has uh, something special. So you will only find it um, in the Van der Waal hotels in Wallonia. Why? Because it's brewed by uh, Van der Waal. Uh, it's a um, as you probably all know, uh, Germany has the same. We have a lot of breweries, yeah. and those breweries sometimes can brew for others. So yes. that's a brewery, a brewery in Nivelle yeah. that brews a beer for the uh, four brothers that own seven of the eight hotels in Wallonia. So that's a... Uh, so it's great. An own hotel <laughs> and, and uh, eight hotels and an own beer. That's what I want to say. Eight <laughs> hotels and one beer. Aged one. That's good. One. That's good. So it makes sense. Dear Regis, thank you very, very much for spending time with me together here in our uh, Valonia Mice Talk, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy our little talk. I from my side say thank you very much. And goodbye. See you soon. Stay safe. Thank you, Peter. You're welcome. Event Catering Service, der natürlich in Belgien arbeitet, aber auch über die Grenzen hinaus. Da haben wir viele Kunden, die öfters fragen, okay, ihr macht die belgische Küche, das spricht uns an, ihr arbeitet mit regionalen Produkten, aber wir hätten auch gerne ein bisschen was Italienisches äh, auf, auf unserem Event. Und dann sage ich immer, ja, Nudeln, das sind Eier, das ist Wasser, das ist Weizen, das haben wir nicht in Belgien. Was natürlich Quatsch ist, haben wir haufenweise. Gab es Nudelküche in Ostbelgien. Da, wo ich herkomme und daher auch Deutsch rede, äh, macht uns super Nudeln, aber wir könnten auch mit pur belgischen Produkten einen tomaten mozzarella salat machen, als Verine in der Vorspeise präsentiert. Dazu haben wir Gemüse aus einem regionalen Anbau in Wallonisch Brabant. Wir haben büffelmilch mozzarella Das äh, wird hergestellt in der Provinz Luxemburg, also an der Grenze zu Luxemburg-Frankreich. Wir haben hier einen Käse von der Ferme de Bailly äh, in äh, Soigny. Im Westen Brüssels. Äh, dieser Käse kann durchaus gebraucht werden, als Parmesanersatz für einen Pesto zu machen, was wir jetzt machen werden. Und wir haben hier einen selber angepflanzten Basilikumstrauch. Äh, das machen wir mit Samen, äh, Biosamen, belgischen Biosamen vom Cycle Orter. Das ist in der wallonischen Provinzhauptstadt Namur. Da verfügt Cycle Orter um eine, über eine ja, Samenbibliothek. Und äh, das werden wir heute für unseren Pesto nutzen. Dann legen wir mal los. 
die Büffel Milchschmutz, da werden die so einiges weicher. Und da muss man wirklich aufpassen, beim Schneiden sehr vorsichtig schneiden und dann über die Seiten, damit es nicht direkt zerläuft oder dass man den Käse zerdrückt, sondern ihn effektiv schneidet. Die Stücke brauchen auch nicht so super regelmäßig oder dünn zu sein, das wird niemand schaffen, weil ihr seht auch hier, dass der Käse wieder gut zerläuft. Aber das gibt eben im Endeffekt auch eine, einen cremigen Aspekt an der ganzen Sache. Und das schmeckt wirklich super gut. Wenn ich nur warten brauche, schmeiße so ein bisschen ein Messer mit äh, was Zähnen. Schneidet sich besser. Wie es zu Hause öfters der Fall ist, ein Messer, das nicht gut schneidet. Daher nehmen wir jetzt mal ein bisschen was groberes Material. Ich werde eine Verrine anrichten für ein Walking Dinner, ein Aperitif. Da sollte man natürlich auch darauf achten, dass äh, die Stücke dann eben nicht zu groß sind, weil die Gäste meistens nur eine Gabel haben. Das stelle ich vor, ist schon mal in den Frigo. Voilà. Und dann mache ich jetzt mein Pesto. Äh, Basilikumpesto trotzdem. Dafür brauche ich... Auf jeden Fall zupfe ich die Blätter, sonst die Stängel sind nicht so der Burner, mixt sich auch nicht so gut. Dann Pinienkerne, eine Handvoll, eine kleine Handvoll, vielleicht ein bisschen mehr. Öl kommt außerdem auch aus der Nähe von Lüttich, eine der noch zwei einzigsten bestehenden Wassermühlen in der Wallonie und der ganze ähm, Ertrag durch den Verkauf dieses Öls wird wieder zurückgegeben äh, an die Leute, die sich um die Wassermühle kümmern, äh, um die im Stand zu halten. Hier haben wir den äh, Käse von der Ferme Bailly. Den nutzen wir für unseren Pesto als Parmesanersatz. Äh, ihr seht, der geht. Da muss man schon ein bisschen was Kraft haben, um den zu schneiden. <lacht> wir brauchen auch nur eine kleine Ecke. Die Kruste weg. Und dann fein wegschneiden. Der hat auch schon ziemlich Geschmack. Also ich werde jetzt wahrscheinlich zuerst mal kein Salz und Pfeffer hinzugeben. Und das wäre meiner Meinung nach auch schon relativ genug. Wir können ja nachher nochmal nachfüllen, wenn wir sehen, dass es ein bisschen was zu flüssig wird. Ich glaube, ich brauche ein bisschen mehr Öl sehe ich, dass wir auf jeden Fall hier so bis zur Hälfte vom Becher uns das voll machen sollten. Hm. Der schmeckt gut. Der braucht wohl nur ein bisschen Salz. Aber nicht viel. Der Käse gibt einen sehr guten Geschmack. Ist echt lecker. Mit dem Rest von den Pinienkernen machen wir noch ein bisschen was Deko. Schmeißt dann eine Pfanne. So. Pinienkerne muss man äh, wirklich super aufpassen. Die, gehen schnell, äh, die werden schnell braun. Also muss ich im Auge behalten. Wir richten die Verrine also jetzt an, mit ein bisschen Rucola, wie gesagt, aus regionalem Anbau unten drin. Das Tomaten Mozzarella, ihr seht, der ist sehr, sehr cremig. Ich denke, man könnte auch noch ein bisschen was Pfeffer hinzugeben, um ein bisschen was ja, mehr Schärfe zu haben. Äh, zuerst das Pesto noch. Das hat effektiv, also wie gesagt, wir können es nicht schmecken, aber es hat sehr, sehr viel geschnappt. Einen Suppenlöffel würde ich sagen. So. So. Einmal ein bisschen Pfeffer. Die Pinienkerne als Zugabe. Und so haben wir im Endeffekt eigentlich ein italienisches Gericht. Mit 
Buch Walonisch-Belgischen Zutaten.